So if you know me at all through social media or in person, you'll know that I'm just a little bit crazy about watches. <laughs> I've got a massive collection. I've got a new one on my wrist every single day. I'm always buying new ones, always looking at new ones to buy, just posting photos of them. I, I'm the watch guy. I love them. And people are always saying to me that you must spend so much money on watches. Like apart, aside from the ones that I get sent for free to take photos of and review and stuff, people think that I'm spending loads. And yeah, there is watches out there that cost you like your soul to be able to own but it doesn't mean that you can't get some amazing watches from these micro brand companies in the watch industry which the majority of my watches are from and it just goes to show that you can get an insane watch for less than a thousand pound so what we're going to do today is i'm going to run through three watches i think are budget so under a thousand pound i would say is budget for watches and i'm going to talk to you a little bit about these watches a little bit about the companies and show you the watches and i'll prove to you that you don't need to spend at least five grand on a rolex to have a luxury high quality reliable watch <laughs> So the first company we're going to talk about today is the company that made the watch that I'm actually wearing on my wrist right now, and they're called Carpenter Watches. They're a company based in New York. They make amazing, what I would probably say are more dress watches than anything else, because yeah, they are solid, and we'll talk more about that in a bit, but they're very pretty watches, and they're not the kind of thing you'd use as like a beta watch, say like a Seiko 5 or something like that. You can just put on your wrist, smack against things and not worry about it and it will just never break. But the watches they make vary from around $600 to $1,000. And the one I'm wearing today is the M2B Field Watch from Carpenter. So it's a 40 millimeter watch in a stainless steel case with a sapphire crystal exhibition back a double dome sapphire crystal on the top and a Miyota 812A 21 jewel automatic movement in it. So the movement is beautiful, just hacks around the face, just hacks straight around all day, every day. It's also glow in the dark, which is really handy so you can actually see what time it is when you're out in the middle of the night doing things you probably shouldn't be doing. And then out of the box, it comes with a genuine leather strap. I took it off because I don't like leather straps. I can't get on with them. They just don't fit me very well, even after they've been worn in. So I've just got it paired with a mesh strap from a company we're gonna talk about in a minute. But in terms of the box that it comes in, it comes in this amazing matte black box with a nice little Carpenter Watches logo on the top. When you open that, you get your actual box with a watch in. So you slide it out of the sleeve and you're greeted with this lovely wooden box, which you open up to find your watch. Inside there, you've obviously got your watch itself, a strap tool, so you can change the strap if you need to, like I did. And then you've also got a book in there which talks a little bit about Carpenter watches and the watch that you've actually purchased from them. And considering I said it's more of like a dressy watch, which I think would look amazing with a suit, by the way, it is very solid, like completely solid. It's standard the test of Ted so far, if that's a, that's a new thing, not the test of time, the test of Ted. <laughs> I don't baby any of my things. I use things, I wear things, and if they break from doing what I'm doing, then it's tough shit really. And it's solid, like absolutely solid. I've had the watch for probably just over a year now and not a single scratch on it. Doesn't lose time, doesn't gain time. It's completely perfect. So if you're looking for sort of like a more dressy sort of looking watch that's still solid and you've got a budget of around, I think it's 595 pound, then I'd 100% say that you should look into buying a watch from Carpenter Watches because they've got some amazing pieces. And Neil, the owner, is an absolutely solid guy, like complete legend. So it'd be good to help him out as well. He deserves it. He works hard. So the second company we're going to talk about today is a company that we all know and love. If you follow me on Instagram, they're called About Vintage. They're based in Copenhagen, Denmark, which obviously drew me straight to them because Vikings. Yes, please. And I've been working with them quite a lot. As you all know, if you follow me on Instagram, I've got a bunch of watches from them. I wear their watches all the time. I love their watches. They are so nice. They've got so many different designs and from, from like chronographs to dive watches. They've all got like a proper vintage vibe to them, hence the name about vintage. And they're all named after a certain year that a design or a type of watch was made or invented, which is quite cool, I think. So I've got a few watches from them and I'm going to run through a few of their designs today and see if you like any because... I really do like this brand. So the first watch we're gonna talk about from About Vintage is their 1926 at sea. This one is a steel steel blue version. They've got loads of different colors in this watch. I just went for this one because 
I just liked it. It stood out to me the most. This one in particular is in a 38 millimeter stainless steel case. So it's quite small, but they have just released a line of I think 40 and 42 millimeter ones as well. So if you like a bigger watch, they now make bigger ones. And personally, I'd prefer to have a 40 mil, but I do like the size of this one. The movement is a TM1 VH3 W sweep second hand. Quartz, Japanese, I think it might be a Seiko movement. So definitely solid. And the way it works is it's not like a normal quartz watch where the time will just tick. But the fact that it's a sweep movement makes it look like it's an automatic without actually being an automatic, which is what I like because I'm not a fan of the quartz look when it just like ticks around. I'd, I'd like, I like it to, I like, the, I like the sweeping movement. The glass on the top is a single dome sapphire crystal. And this one comes with obviously the metal bracelet that's quick release for size adjustment. And one thing that I love about about vintage is the fact that all of their watches come with quick release straps to be able to change them nice and easy without needing a tool, which is so handy for someone like me that changes watch straps all the time. And it means that I don't have to worry about losing my strap tool because I do it all the time. I can literally just pinch the top, change the strap in probably about 10 seconds. And this one, the 1926 is waterproof up to 200 meters, which is, which is pretty good because if you're going further than 200 meters down, then you're pretty hardcore. I mean, I probably can't hold my breath long enough to be able to go more than five meters down. So fair play to any fucker going 200 plus, like that's just nuts. So these ones come in at around $375, so super cheap for what you're getting. I'd put these in like a beta category because I've beat the shit out of this. Like I've been walking around, smacked it on things, not on purpose, obviously, but like, you know, when you're just walking through a door, say, and you smack it on the door frame and you're like, oh no, my watch, but you look at it and it's completely fine. Runs perfectly, beautiful little watch, and I would highly recommend it to anyone. And the next watch that we're gonna talk about from About Vintage is again a 1926, but it's their 1926 automatic ring. So this one's a little bit more expensive because of the automatic movement. It comes in at $625 and it does have a slightly different design. Where the 1926 with the quartz movement has more of a domed bezel, this one has a flat bezel and the crystal on the top sticks out a little bit further because it's got what they call a super dome sapphire crystal. So it's just raised up a little bit further than the bezel itself and I think that gives off quite a cool effect. The case on this one again is 38 millimeter. I'm not sure if they do the bigger versions in this, but it, like I said, is a good size and I really like it. The movement in it is a Miyota 8215 automatic movement with a 42 hour power reserve, which is really good, which means that when you're not wearing it, it will keep time for 42 hours after you take it off your wrist. And if you don't know automatic watches, then you don't know that you have to wind them up basically to get them to work because you have to get the movements moving again in order for the watch to move essentially. This one with the automatic movement is only water resistant up to 100 meters, but again, who the fuck goes down to 100 meters? That's a long way, <laughs> so you're not going to need that. They've got a few different colors in this one, but I went for the all black version because I just think it looks stealth and sick. And this one also has a date window, which the one with the quartz movement doesn't have, which is something that I personally love because I never know what date it is. So just being able to look at my wrist and be like, oh, it's the seventh today is something that is very helpful in my life, which is one of the things that really draws me to the automatic version over the quartz version. The packaging that their watches come in, again, like Carpenter, is very nice. It comes in this really nice box with an About Vintage logo on the top of it. And then when you open it up, the bottom of the box has a flap that opens out to reveal the wooden box that the watch actually comes in, which is a really nice touch. Easy access, that's what we like. And then when you open up the box, you are greeted with your watch, obviously. Be a bit worried if you weren't. And then in the top of the box, you've got a little pamphlet, leaflet, piece of paper, basically, that just says the watch that you've got and tells you a little bit about it. So you might be thinking to yourself, Ted, $300 to $1,000 is not budget. I, I'm not spending that much money on a watch because where, where am I then gonna get the money to go and travel and get those sexy drone clips that I need for my vlogs? And the answer to that is the sponsor of today's video, Artgrid. If you haven't heard of Artgrid before, they're an online platform for amazing stock video footage and they've also got another platform online for royalty-free music. I use them for everything. Sometimes when you see B-roll in my videos or cutscenes, it will be stock footage that I've downloaded from Artgrid. They provide videos in 4K, you can get things in log, I think you can get things in raw as well, so you don't have to worry about color grading someone else's color grade, which is 
amazing. And then alongside that, with the music, all the music you hear in my videos comes from their platform Artlist. And with the licensing that you get for the footage and music that you download from their platforms, you get complete licensing to use in any videos that you wanna make, whether it's YouTube or commercial videos, which is something you don't tend to get from other platforms. So if you are thinking to yourself, I wanna buy a 300 to $1,000 watch, but I also wanna be able to go travel and get those sexy drone clips, then I'd consider hitting that link below that's in the bio because if you do sign up to Artlist or Artgrid using one of those links, you get a two month free trial. Free stock footage, buy yourself a watch, win-win. So the last watch that I wanna to talk to you guys about today is the one and only, the God Shock. So you guys know, I'm a sucker for a G-Shock watch. I love this one that I've got. I can't remember the exact name of it, but it's the skeleton version, the see-through one. They do it in matte black, they do it in pink, they do it in white, they do it in loads of different colors. And it's super budget. This exact one costs around $110. And the matte black one, which is probably what most people would prefer, I think is around $80 or $90. So super budget, you will never break it. And if you do manage to break it, then fair fucks because <laughs> they're virtually indestructible but they're amazing watches they look nice i'm not sure what it is about them it's the, the watch community just love them and if you're into watches and you don't have one then you need to go and buy one because i promise you you will love it and when it comes to the packaging they come in a tin so i don't think i need to say anything else solid comes in a tin you won't break it they look sick and they're cheap it's the g-shock I love it. Now there are so many other micro brand watch companies that you can go to and get beautiful and amazing watches from in that price range from say a hundred to a thousand dollars. But these three that I spoke about today are three of my personal favorites that I actually own watches from. I don't own watches from every micro watch brand. I'm not made of money. <laughs> but I hope that this video sort of made you realize that you can get an amazing luxury, reliable watch that still looks like it was a very expensive watch. So if you are interested in any of the watches that I've spoken about today, I will put links to the websites for the companies below. None of them are affiliate links. None of them are sponsored. They're just genuinely companies that I do like the watches from them and believe do deserve support in growing their name because they make some amazing stuff. But that's it, that covers everything. So if you enjoyed the video, make sure you drop me a like because apparently it makes my video do better. Leave me a comment of what your favorite current micro brand watches, if you've got any, any that I might not know about. I'm always interested in finding new watches. And if you wanna see more videos on watches and anything like that, make sure you subscribe because there's plenty more coming. And on that note, I'll see you next week. See you later.